In this tutorial, we will show you how to do networking connection and programming in ZX series panel. Before this video, it is advised to watch our networking concept of ZX series panel video for better understanding. If panel is showing no reply from RS485232 link, you can refer this video. First, we will start with connection part. Please follow good installation practice. It is advised to use anti-static wristband gloves and remove your wristwatch. First, power down the panel. For networking, we require RS485 card for each panel and RS485 card should be connected on port C on motherboard of each panel. Before installing the RS485 card, panel should be in power off condition. Now we will do the cable connection for networking. RS-485 card have out BA terminal and in BA terminal. From first panel, RS-485 card output terminal cable should connect on second panel RS-485 card input terminal. Connection should be from A to A and B to B. These connections are for class B wiring. If you want to do class A wiring, then from second panel, RS-485 card output terminal cable should connect on first panel RS-485 card input terminal. Distance should not be more than 1 km with recommended cable. Once the connection is done, we can power up the panel. Now we will show how to do programming of networking. In ZX panel, type of network configuration is master and slave. So first we will show you the programming for master panel. First to enable level 2 operation, press the tick button and the display will prompt for entry of the level 2 password. Enter the level 2 password using the numeric keys. The display then shows the main menu of user options. To access the commissioning function in the panel, press 1 to select the commissioning option. The display will prompt for entry of the level 3 password. Enter the level 3 password using the numeric keys. The display will then show the commissioning menu option. Now we will move to third commissioning screen by pressing the tick button two times. Press 3 to select the network option from page 3 of commission menu. Display will show is the panel network. Press tick button to confirm. Next option is panel network address. We will put an address here. Let's say one for master panel and then press enter. Next option is quantity of slave processor. As we are going to connect one slave panel, so we will put here one and then press enter. Next option will be slave CPU one is at network address. As we will give address two to slave panel, so we will put two and then press enter. Use modem. We will make true as we have connected RS-485 card in C port and then press enter. Share zone. You can make it true if we want to share zone among master and slave panel or else make it false by pressing the change button and then press enter. Peer to peer. Make it true if we want to allow mute, accept, silent, resound and system reset key Presses from a slave panel or else make it false by pressing the change button and then press enter. Port B protocol. It will always be zero. Now press enter. System events. Keep it global. If we want to pass a system event over network and accept other network event or else keep local if does not want to pass event over the network and want to ignore all network event and press enter. Non-latch event. No. Now press enter. The programming for master panel has completed. You will come out of the commissioning option. Now we will go to slave panel for network programming. We will follow the same step here which we have done for master panel to go inside network option of this panel. Once we reach inside network option, Display will show is this panel network. Press the tick button to confirm. Next option is panel network address number. 
we will put an address 2 as we have already defined the slave address in master panel as 2 and press enter. Next option is quantity of slave processor. Here we will make it 0 as this is a slave panel and press enter. Use modem we will make true as we have connected RS485 card in C port and then press enter. Share zone. You can make it true if we want to share zone among master and slave panel or else make it false by pressing the change button and then press enter. Peer to peer. Make it true if we want to pass mute except silent resound and system reset key passes back to master or else make it false by pressing the change button and then press enter. Port B protocol. This will always be zero. Now press enter. System event. Keep it global if we want to pass a system event over network and accept other network event or else keep it local if does not want to pass event over the network and want to ignore other network events. And then press enter. Non-latch event. No. Now press enter. The network programming for slave panel has completed. Now we will come out of the commissioning option. We have completed the networking process between ZX panel. Explore our trainings and discover your potential. Visit www.honeywelldiscovertraining.com.